<laughs> I don't have anything to say. You're out of order. <laughs> I'm going to eat. Did you sign up, Kevin? I did not, but I don't need to. But I appreciate you so much. The Sage of Sumner County, right? Okay, I'm going to call this meeting to order. It's 7.07 .07 on this fabulous first day of July. Uh, and we will have the invocation by the chairman. Father, as we uh, begin this meeting tonight, uh, we just pray that you will give us the guidance and the wisdom to make the decisions for Sumner County that's in the best interest of the people and population of this county. We pray, dear Lord, your guidance and wisdom also upon our personal lives as we uh, traverse through uh, tomorrow and the rest of the week that we will be in the center of your will. We pray in that name. Amen. Amen. Uh, I, if there's no changes to the agenda, I would I, I would request somebody make a motion to approve. Commissioner Schmidt uh, made the motion. Oh, you're over there. <laughs> and Commissioner Moss made the second. <laughs> Uh, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? We barely have a quorum tonight, so, but we do have one. Uh, motion to approve the minutes. So moved by Commissioner Holmes. I'll second. by Commissioner Schmidt. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Uh, there's no report from the chairman. The county mayor is not here. Recognition of the public. No? Okay. We're moving right along here. Old business, uh, status of the county surplus database project. Mr. Sittler, can yes, you address this? Sir, Mr. Chairman, I, uh, <clears throat> I've been in discussion with Mr. Tuttle, and I think we've got this fine-tuned to where it minimizes uh, input uh, as far as double entry issues we were running into. So it's going to be, I think, streamlined down to where it can be turned, their report or their list of items can be reduced to a PDF. And then we've got the way to manipulate the database that people can go in and see that there are current listings for departments. You go in and you just open up that PDF and see their list and it will give them the ability to attach pictures as well. So if it's big items or furniture, things of that nature, that that department can post pictures. And we've got an automatic trigger on it once posted. Uh, which is one thing I'm going to need this committee's guidance on is uh, after a certain duration of time it automatically responds to the poster that says okay if the, you're now at the point to send this to the normal surplus pro process which is gov deals or whatever standard they use that complies with the county policy and then once they do that it gets removed from the system and it just kind of keeps keeps going as lists are created. They can put multiple lists of items. They can have nothing and it'll say there are no items to display. By reducing, in, reducing it to that level, the uh, department can use the list that they have, which is probably going to be the gov deals or the finance list anyway, and then whatever items are taken, they can just revise their list and immediately turn that in and to go through the finalized surplus process. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, takes a couple of hands out of the equation, makes it simpler for the departments, and makes it simpler for IT, and it uh, basically is in the spirit of the resolution that had been passed. Okay, so the, the terminus of the, the items on how long you want it on the list is what I need to know. Okay, we, we had talked about 60 days as a starting point, I think. Uh, if that sounds good, uh, we need a motion, right? Or uh, do we? If, if 60 days would... Yes. Okay. I would yeah. encourage you to put some caveat unless permission is sought from general operations to deviate from that tie line because there are times when uh, we've run into this with highway where they've got to get some equipment turned around quick because they've got to go get new equipment things of that right. nature just some kind of relief yeah. valve for people that can't wait the 60 days or they just don't have the storage ability to yeah. hold on to it for 60 days now we had talked about equipment like uh, 
the highway department and stuff, some of that stuff is not usable to any other department. And then some of it's going to be department specific into how they get rid of it as well. Right. So some of that stuff's not even going to be eligible to be listed. So would it be reasonable to expect that, uh, for instance, Toby, if he want, he said, I got a dump truck, you know, we're not going to need that in any other department in the county. Can I just take it straight to Gov Deals? Could he can override the system just by bringing it to us like he does now. Yes, that's what the kind of relief I'm looking for from any department okay. or any department. Okay, is so the ability to do so that. I would I would think it would be prudent to uh, have us make a motion for uh, all things would be on, uh, on the list for 60 days unless a department would want to would see that no other department could use it and they, they could bring it straight to us uh, to, to take the gov deals. Or if current law prohibits them from disposing of the property okay. in this fashion. O okay. Sheriff's Department's a prime example. They've got some stuff that can either go to another sheriff's department or has to be dealt with a specific way. Okay, okay. So, um, did you get that motion? <laughs> if I could summarize, we sure. need a motion that says it'll be 60 days unless approval is sought from general operations to move it quicker or the law requires a different method of disposal. Okay. That sounds great. Can I, I so make the motion? Yes. Commissioner Holmes? Sure. Second by Commissioner Moss. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, passes. That's great. So since we're talking about this issue, this what is the resolution on the issue with the library? It, it, is that the, the Shelby? On, on, uh, you know, I, it's down here. Yeah, it's, oh, is it on there? Okay. I think it's under well, business. Just wait. Yeah, well, I think so. That's a new business, yeah. so we'll go. Okay, uh, item B, roof and parapets of archive building. Uh, you know, we talked about that at the last meeting, and what seemed to be holding it up was a heating and air conditioning unit that was geothermal. Mm. And the, the thing about the archive building is the work that needs to be done is on the parapets, not on the roof at all. So uh, I'm going to send an email to the mayor saying, let's get going on the parapets, because there's no connection between them and the HVAC unit. Uh, Mr. Sittler. I just want to be very clear. I believe it was brought up in the last meeting that he was waiting on an approval from my office for a contract for uh, architecture. Mm -hmm. uh, it had already been approved by us, so right. we are not the hold up on that. I just want to be very clear on that. Right, so I will go ahead and request that, that uh, we get to bidding that thing out because I believe the architectural requirements have been done for quite a while, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, let me go ahead and, and do that to request that they put that out to bid as soon as possible. And like I say, the heating and air unit that's geothermal is something completely different and removed from this. So there's no action to take on that. Uh, I didn't see an update on the new courthouse parking structure. Uh, so it has been open for a week. I drove through it last night, and uh, there's a lot of signage in place for the Christian Towers and uh, some other. Uh, it's being used uh, now. The, a lot of people coming out of the church and they have the right to use it after hours and on weekends. So uh, so it's, it's open and operating. Uh, the um, storm drain issue, I, I did speak to the contractor who's doing the water line for the city, and he was supposed to start today, but I drove down there and, and he has not. My, my hope is that we can get this thing bid out fast enough so that it will there will be total continuity between putting the new water line in. They're going to abandon two water lines and, and put in a new one. And then once that's done, we can put our storm drain in. So uh, 
Ms. Norfleet told me that it would probably be about three weeks, but that the bidding documents were ready to go. We'll probably, or hopefully, get that out to bid next week. Uh, she's gone this week. Seems like everybody's gone this week. So that's where the storm drain sits. Uh, and then uh, as far as the, the library parking, uh, there, I drove over there today. There are signs up that says for library uh, pe people, they're using the library only. I was told by Ms. Norfleet that, that Toby is making some signs that would be per permanent and talk about, you know, cars will be hauled off if, if they don't, uh, if they're not there for the library. I did talk to one wrought iron contractor. Uh, if we were to put a fence between the new courthouse and the library, this particular contractor had a, a minimum charge of $2,500. So if, if we decide that we need to put a fence between them, and we haven't determined that yet, we could probably put that out to bid or I could at least call some other contractors, but I just called the one and so that would be the most I think we would pay is $2,500. And that's basically set up for a day's work. It would be a commercial grade, which is substantially better than a residential grade, be much heavier steel and last a lot longer. So that's pretty much the update on the parking structure and other parking issues around it. Are there any questions with that? Do you want B and or C to go stay on hold? Uh, I think B can come off. Okay. I believe C can come off as well. And if if uh, we're still having trouble with parking there, once the signs are up, then we'll we'll resurrect it. Okay. Uh, update on main chambers of the AV system. I did talk to Miss Templeton today. She was hoping to have a price for the 20-inch goosenecks and the 27-inch goosenecks today, but the uh, supplier didn't get a written proposal to her and didn't give her a verbal one either yet. So we should uh, keep that one on and defer that till next month. Uh, results of meeting with the state uh, fire marshal in Millersville City uh, codes regarding the Bethel EMS facility. Uh, there was no resolve, if you remember, from last month. So what I did is I had a meeting with an architect, and like the goosenecks, uh, he was going to get back to me by today, and he didn't. So I should have a proposal for architectural work to make those uh, to sleeping quarters legal by, by building code. I did talk to a, an electrical contractor regarding the $4,600, 240 volt extension. After going over to the building, I discovered there was a 50 amp, 220 volt box on the other side of that masonry wall. To make that code legal, we would have to uh, disengage the stove that is in that kitchen right now. But I believe there's a stove in the, the temporary sleeping quarters that would work. That, that, that is a 30 amp, uh, I believe, plug for, for that sleeping, that temporary sleeping quarters. So that work could be done for $400 rather than $4,600. So uh, I was hoping that the mayor would be here tonight uh, found out just the other day that he wouldn't so I will make a special request to have him go ahead and authorize the expenditure of a maximum of four hundred dollars so that we can get rid of that generator that's quite costly there any questions on that one and I will plan on having not only a proposal from an architect next month but also he is also an architect slash builder, and he will have a fairly accurate estimate of what the work will cost to be done.
but he told me in no uncertain terms it would not be anything near two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Even though it's four hundred dollars, we're talking about work to a building we don't own. Yes. That's going to be a problem. Okay. Tell, tell me what kind of problem. It's not our building. I don't think we can just go in there making changes regardless of how nominal <coughs> they are. Okay. So we take on a lot, a lot of liability for work we tell them we're going to do All to right. a building we already have problems with. It's not our building to begin with. So I don't even know that, that uh, this oh. committee has authority to dictate what goes on in that building okay. other than making suggestions. What did we do in renting the temporary sleeping quarters and the generator that... That became an emergency uh, and where that's at now, I don't know. I'm imagining that will hit uh, this committee again on whether to continue it or not because as was been pointed out many times, that's been going on for 16 years, I think. Since this applies specifically to those temporary quarters, could it also... You're talking about a permanent fixture that's on the building. Okay, well, yeah. And I know I'm splitting hairs, but at the end of the day, it's like me coming to your house because I want to plug in and me doing all your electrical work the way I need it. Well, maybe I can talk to the city of Millersville. Maybe they can cough up 400 or less. Okay. The work. So okay, uh, I will I will look into that with the city of Millersville. All right. Uh, okay, so that took care of item E and F. Uh, <coughs> Hendersonville Health Department status. I spoke uh, with Hal Hendricks today. There's going to be a meeting. A week from today, he didn't have the time yet. I've asked if I can sit in on the meeting, and he said absolutely. It's it's with the architects, so uh, we'll. It, it's the first draft of a of a floor plan, and so I, I guess we're a ways out on that. But I can uh, take notes, and I could e either follow up with a with an email, or I can just report it at the next. Uh, gen ops meeting so uh, may maybe I'll just I'll just do uh, I'll just do it as a report at the next gen ops meeting if, if that's okay with everybody okay uh, cotton town flooding I've been working uh, with Commissioner Jones but also with Josh Suddeth and his engineer Marshall Boyd and they have reached out to TDOT, and TDOT has agreed, uh, and I believe they have pulled their permit, and they're going to clean out underneath the bridge and at least 60 feet downstream, more if, if the, they can get that to happen with, uh, uh, with the permit that they have. And I think Josh told me sometimes they're allowed 100 feet I think we need 100 feet, but we'll we'll see what happens. And then, when once they schedule that work, uh, we'll find out more about the creek that ran along the south side that flooded out the Baptist Church parking lot. What we're what I'm trying to find out is whose responsibility is what, and so. Uh, as soon as the, the sequencing of this is a little particular, so once they've scheduled a date to do the work, then we can have this meeting with them. So that's where the flooding in Cottontown is. Are, are there any questions? Okay. Want to keep that old business? Yeah, keep that old business <laughs> and, and uh, keep the Henderson Health Department, Hendersonville Health Department, old business as well. Uh, then item I, EMA to purchase new drones. Now, I'm trying to remember, and I went back and looked at the minutes of budget, because I thought we forwarded that off to budget. And I, 
and I'm not sure if it came back. It's my understanding that this was uh, in conjunction with some vehicles. The vehicles were nixed and the drones were kicked back down here again. Okay. Well, uh, Ken Widener is not here, so I did some research on the drones and apparently we have two of them. And they were used a lot this year. And they, they get used, they have infrared sensors on them to track body heat at night. They're also used in, when there's an escape from the jail or any jail. And so I don't know how many is, is too many and how many is not enough. But in, in my research, I think four is not too many. And so we can either defer this, uh, deny it, or put it forward to uh, budget again. And uh, for two? Uh, for two, uh, I believe it was two more. Was it four? Was it four? Was it, was it four, a total of four? Well, in the minutes from last month, it says purchase of truck and two drones. Yeah, that's what I thought it was, two drones. A truck. That's what it says. It says two. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and we already have two. From, right, so I think that's a total. A total of four. I think that's why we're getting them. Yeah, I think that's why. So I'm getting. guessing. So um, how, did it say how much they were? No. It, 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 no. Or was it a grant? Um, Um, and I, I think some of them, there's something, they were broken as well, and so they're just replacing. Was that the one that had the insurance money? That there, there was some insurance money? There is an insurance claim on some drones. I don't know what the status of that is. We're still trying to figure that out in SIB. Okay. It, it would, and, and anybody can make an emo, a motion on this, but it would seem to me that we have too little information that perhaps... I should make a request. I think, Mr. Matthews. Yes, sir. I, I think they certainly would cut down on having to use people yeah. and personnel. Yeah. And I mean, it's the thing that's really being used yeah. a yeah. great deal today. I, I think it would be wise for somebody to make a motion to do it. Go ahead and do it. Well, we could always have him at the budget if, he, yeah. if he's got any information he wants to bring. That's you know, Mr. Widener. That, that's true. And in fact, uh, if he gets back next week, I'll call him on Monday, and maybe I can bring something to budget committee that would in line. Because I, I agree. I, I think they're valuable. And so I'll make, I'll, no, go ahead. Go, no. make a motion to send the two drones with a positive recommendation. With a positive recommendation. I'll second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. New business. Uh, here, here again, I, I thought we already forwarded this surplus Ford Explorer. Did it get bounced back? I went, I went into the minutes of budget committee and I couldn't find anything. So, I, I thought this was gone. I, I did too. So, if it got kicked back, now, I didn't see anything at all on, on, even on the agenda of the budget committee. So maybe it never got passed on. So I think one of the problems is, is the makeup of ECD is a little bit unique. And this is a transfer from EMS to ECD, I believe, if I'm remembering yeah, correctly. Yeah. And that's where the approval needed to come from or is for that transfer to occur because they're not a traditional department of the county i believe we're just a part of ecd in some way shape or form so would would the transfer start and stop here and just because it's it's between two different departments of the county i know that i know the truck is is budget doesn't need it 
Okay. So it's whether it needs com the question is, does the commission need to sign off on it? I don't know. So that's what I'll need to figure out. So if you all want to vote on whether to do it or not, I'll figure out if it needs to be on commission okay. on the 29th. Okay. I'll make a motion to move it forward. Move. Okay. Commissioner Schmidt and Commissioner Moss. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. Uh, Hendersonville Library Surplus. Here again, I thought we passed this one forward, but. <laughs> Well, no, this is a different. No, this, oh, is this, this a different is one? A, this is one where they weren't doing them at all, yeah. and we said, "Whoa, well, we stop what you're doing, get us a list. We need to go through the county policy for surplus and, and okay. disposal." So, so this is Sheldon, correct? I think broken. Yeah, they're all listed Everything on there. Is, yeah. You know, coat rack, coat rack, brochure holder, wooden book cart. What I wanted to speak to on this before is that uh, having been in the school system and in government for some time, if people really want to give something away or get it to another agency, they can say, well, this doesn't work very well, or I'm not saying our people do that, but the, there's safeguards against that, and, and you know, it's broken, so I would just give it away. But it, it, you just you just have to have those guardrails to say if everything goes through this procedure, there are no exceptions, or you can get into some deep legal difficulties. Yeah, you know the thing is, is nobody ever verifies it except the library people, and I'm, not that I want to make any work for myself or somebody <laughs> else, you know, but. Is this something that we need to implement? That this this stuff, somebody on the committee puts eyes on it. Anything government wise. No, it doesn't matter. It's it's there. That's this is what's it. supposed to happen. Okay. Period. Yeah. Okay. So we just make a motion to. I don't think the library is known to do this. I'm just guessing based on my conversations with them that I don't think they knew to do this. This was never a problem in the past. Somebody didn't pass the sniff test this time and mm -hmm. it's here now and it is now the proper way to dispose of this property. Can you, when you put that out, can you uh, make it very plain in your instructions that nothing's to be given away, it should be sent through that so there won't be this kind of confusion? Well, I can do a general memo. It's just this is gonna be an ongoing thing. I never know when they're hitting the surplus phase. Yeah. So if unless they tell me, hey, we've got a bunch of stuff, then I can say, yeah, here's what you got to do. Mm -hmm. But if it goes outside of anybody uh, in my office knowing, and kind of like this one did, yeah. then they didn't know to do any different until somebody brought it up. Yeah. Right. I, I would really like to see a general memo, and and you know. The old saying about ignorance of the law, we put it out. We yeah, that's said not what a problem. Should be done. Yeah, I can do that. Well, I, I, I can tell you why I'm asking the question. It was because in going through the budget, I, I discovered that there was a, a total furniture expenditure countywide of $78,000. And that did not include the new courthouse. That's just within the departments. and. I'm scratching my head trying to think where with you know all the departments there's no new departments how could we spend seventy eight thousand dollars on new furniture in a year and last year it was the high 60s and so we're spending a lot of money on new furniture and I makes me wonder where the old furniture is going so anyway I'm gonna be looking hard at that and so I just want to make sure that we don't need to implement a process where we're you know putting eyes on where we we don't need to put eyes on something that we've already set up that we're the contact okay. I, I just don't want people throwing or getting rid of something for a penny on the dollar and then buying brand new stuff and spending a fortune on it you know we saw some of the costs of of the stuff in the new courthouse, some of those tables and chairs, and my gosh, it was a lot of money. And so, seventy-eight thousand dollars is a lot of money. 
I think just to be safe, we're going to need a motion on the okay. disposition that okay. it's authorized for them to okay. go through the I would enter surplus. Entertain a motion to, to go on the surplus on site. The, uh, on the it, surplus, or or we're still putting that in play. This just needs to all of this stuff does. broke anyway. So yeah, yeah. we're just that we proceed that they're allowed to proceed on with the county policy for disposal. Okay. Okay, so that would be your motion. That's fine. Second. Second by Commissioner Holmes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Highway department surplus, last item. Here again, I thought, did, did these bounce back too from? I have no idea have no why idea. this one's here. I remember seeing these, these two. What's wrong with them? They're, I think they're, they're aging out. Just I think they're just aging out, yeah. And I believe he, and I really hate to speak out of turn here, but I, I believe he's got some new ones lined up and he just needs these out of the shop. Okay, and I have not spoken to him about these. Yeah, they're both 2005 is what it says. So he's got other machines he's ready to. Yeah, and you know, stuff does age out. So, uh, I entertain. Motion to move, proceed move. We have a motion. Second, Commissioner Moss. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? We have one last motion. Motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Always. <laughs> All in favor? All right.